you think Microtech is a good fit for beginners in networking, let me know. Just leave a comment below. Now before we continue with our video, I want to thank everyone who have supported my YouTube channel. Watch my videos and share them. Since we have already reached 2,000 subscribers. Now if it's your first time in my YouTube channel, just consider subscribing. Our channel is still small, but with your support, we'll be able to hit the 5,000 mark the first quarter of next year. Now let's get started right now. Let's get started with the question, is Microtech a good fit for beginners in networking? I would say beginner plus. Having that said, you should have a base understanding of IP addressing, DNS, DHCP, and Wi-Fi configuration. For real, this is my first time to configure a Microtech router. I have experience though with other brands like Cisco, PFSense, Sophos, and others. I tried this one because a lot of my friends are talking about this, having a lot of features with a low price. And I did a quick research on the internet and they are saying the same thing. If you are a beginner and interested in learning Microtech networking, I suggest you buy Microtech Hoplite because it's under $40 and we can play with a lot of features here as we have seen on the WebFig dashboard. As I'm learning to configure Microtech routers, I'm going to share it with you. Journey with me to the world of Microtech and you and I can play with the configurations out here. To further evaluate this Microtech, let's just go ahead and power this one and connect our computer on the LAN ports indicated on this router and of course our internet or one port indicated with this Microtech router. Now since our Microtech router is powered up, let's go ahead and power up our browser. By the way, our Microtech router is Hoplite. Let's go ahead and dial the default IP address set on this Microtech router 192.168.88.1. It will give us a quick configuration page that we can configure our Microtech router. Now if you are wondering how I get the 192.168.88.1 IP address. This is the default IP address of Microtech. Or you can go to CMD, then type in ipconfig, and then you can see the default gateway 192.168.88.1. So we have three tabs here. It says Quick Set WebFig Terminal. Now we are on the Quick Set configuration. This is the base configuration to get our Microtech router Hoplite working. You can see it here, wireless and internet. Let's go ahead with the wireless. Let's change this one with the network name or what we say the SSID. Let's just say Torogi Pro. Frequency, let's just go for auto. Band, let's just leave it that way. And the country, you select the country where you are in. And then let's go for the Wi Fi password. Let's just put it here 12345678 for the sake of this demo. And we have also the ability to give a guest network, but for now, let's just do it with our Wi Fi password. Then let's hide that one. Now, here on our internet settings, this depends on what your internet is. I am on automatic because I have connected my Microtech router on my home router. So it's getting a dynamic IP from that router. In any case that they have given you an static IP from your ISP, you can use static. But for my case, I'm on automatic IP addressing. Now here on PPOE, this will be given by your ISP itself. So we can click this one. You can see you need to have a username and a password to be able to do this one. And at the same time, you should configure the router given by your ISP to work as a modem on a bridge mode. I'll be doing a, a quick video with PPOE and connect it to this Microtech router in another video. So stay tuned. So let's go back to automatic and let that setting be that way. Let's scroll down here. Uh, you can see firewall router checked and then this is the IP address of this router. You can change this one if you want to, but I'll leave it that way. DHCP server, 
I'll be running my DHCP server from 88.10 to 88.254. You can change this one if you want to. Now the next one here is make sure that you have your uh, NAT enabled because this will allow you to connect to the this uh, this is a setting that will allow you to connect to the internet from your local to the public UPnP universal plug and play this allows network services to automatically open ports and for VPN access if you are doing VPN you should enable that one but for now there are no VPN access that we're going to use so you can just leave that one as is and lastly you have your password as you have noticed when we dialed our default ip address there there were no password we entered i'll just put one two three four five six seven eight one two three four five six seven eight for the sake of this demo but if you're configuring your router for security uh, purposes make it a little bit difficult let's apply that one now since our configuration is applied uh, this quick set is good enough for you to make your router going now for the web fig there are a lot of advanced options here we can do this is the Rogi pro and i hope to see you on my next video goodbye